you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the FIFA 22 Road to Glory with the New York Cosmos in what might end up being the final episode. So I said when the series will end when we win not only the U.S. Open Cup, not only our conference, but also the entire league, win the MLS playoffs. And based on previous results, that season might just end up being this one. We've been on fire all season long. I mean, our backups are playing in the MLS games and we're crushing our opponents, so... There is a decent, pretty good chance that this may be the, the last ever episode. Ethan Jackson will be joining Toronto FC on a short loan move. Benjamin Hayes will be joining SD Huesca on a short loan move. Jeremy Morris will be joining Ajax on a short loan move. I think that's a pretty good upgrade for him. And here we are in the quarterfinals of the US Open Cup as we host the Philadelphia Union. And this is how the team will be lining up. Playing our 4-3-3, Andrade is in goal. Flores and Long are the center backs, Almeida, Armstrong, outside backs, Roth, defensive mid, Alvarez and Walter, center mids, Silva, Medjbri are the wingers, and Mukoko is our striker. Here are the highlights. And so the penalty shootout about to commence, and as a player, this is when you have so lethal in front of goal, can he keep us cool? A moment he dearly wishes he could have back. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And he's failed from the spot. And confidently converted. Well, the responsibility is on his shoulders. Failure to score, and they lose. Piece of goalkeeping. So, game ended up going to pens, but we were able to win it on a shootout, three nothing, which means we will yet be advancing again. Brando Correa is going on a short loan move to Rodez AF over in France, and I'm only including this because it is a little bit of a spiteful thing. Uh, Costa, who was bought by Norwich, they released activated his release clause, needs to refuse to stay. Has been struggling, and just makes me feel pretty good. And Tanner Jones' release clause has been met by Belgian side Anderlecht, and he has been sold. I understand it. I mean, he was the, one of the original players, but just hasn't really played much as of late, so I understand why he left. Kraft's short loan move to Preston will be happening. Transfer window. Only player we sold, in, sold was Jones. And now it's time to travel to the Bank of California Stadium to face off against LAFC. Lineup is the same as it always is. Here are the highlights. And going short with it. Well, not very clever defending. And a goal! The... And over comes the corner. And that is going to be a free kick. Chance to extend the lead. And then. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. Well, they could finish here, Stuart. Oh, that's it. So, a 3 0 victory means that we will be advancing yet again, and of course we would. And look who we are facing in the final. Not only is it a New York team, but it is the team that we have probably played the most in this entire series, NYCFC, at Dignity Health Sports Park. We have an ongoing rivalry. They have stolen our best player before. And we get a chance to get some revenge. I mean, neither of us have really had an easy road to get here. Their team, they're playing their 4 3 one Talas Mango, I've used him in a series before, is very good as well. And Bennett, who they stole from us, is on that left mid position, so I wouldn't mind two-footing him at some point throughout the game. Starting lineup is the same as it always is for us. 
Here are the highlights. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. This to open the scoring here. And the... It's a neat move. And the referee says penalty. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end, I think he's got it right. A penalty and a yellow card. Can they extend their lead? And he finds the net! And it looked promising. Going well. Takes the shot! And there it is! That will put the... So a 3-0 victory means that we are, in fact, US Open Cup champions. Checklist 1, item 1, out of the way. And we also want a manager of the month in the MLS. Fisher will be departing once his contract expires. Never really played for us, so I don't care. Fetty Schroeder is joining the team. Bendrick Zimmerman, pretty good player to come off the bench. And we ended up winning our conference as well, and honestly, quite convincingly, considering we had 75 points, second place had 58. And now we'll be facing off against Columbus Crew in the conference semifinals at Giant Stadium, who we beat opening week. Lineup is the best lineup that we have. We're not messing around this year. Here are the highlights. Oh, good looking run. A real opening now. A goal! And possibilities here. Cross towards that far post. Oh, that is excellent. And the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half time. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He just needs to keep a cool head. A goal! Silva has it. And he's made headway. A goal! And a turn. Here's Artur. Can he take the chance? It's got to be. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there, but I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. Goal! Ten what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Useful looking ball, and it goes! Such a complete... So we have a 5-1 victory thanks to four goals from Mukoko. Solidifies our place into... Actually, never mind, that was the conference semifinals. This is the conference finals against Nashville, who knocked us out of the conference finals last year. So, we get a little bit of a revenge game. But first, Thiago Almeida did pick up a red card in the previous match. So... We're going to have to have a different player start at that right back position. But it's not really going to change up the team that much. So Roth moves from defensive mid to that right back position. Shakiri goes in the center mid position because Walther is dropping to defensive mid. Team's honestly a bit more offensive now. So maybe we can get some even higher goals scored. Either way, team should do good. Here are the highlights. 
getting the ball forward. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. This to make it 1 0. And there it is. Got here. And over it comes. Leal. Opportunity here. And it's a goal. Level again. 30 minutes to go. for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead Shakiri oh and it and showing fine vision he just needs to stay level headed now there it is and he could scarcely have Who's going to get on the end of it? And the delivery lacked a bit of guile. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, they really need this. So a 3-2 victory. Game got a little bit too close there in the end, but we ended up pulling off the victory, so that means it is time for the final against the Vancouver Whitecaps. So not only will we be doing this for all the New York Cosmos fans out there, but we're doing it for America. We don't want these stupid Canadians to win it. We're hosting them at Giant Stadium. You already know our lineup. Their lineup, I mean, Burry, they're playing a striker at center mid. We should crush them. Here are the highlights. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Cavallini. Useful looking ball. The opening goal in the... Chances on. one for them to pursue and a goal dangerous looking attack can he make it count and a goal to increase the lead now back underway at 3-1 30 minutes left for play do they mean business on this occasion? Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! Change then. Who can he pick out? Foiling them effectively. This attack looks highly promising. A goal! An exceptional... Change then. Who can he pick out? Foiling them effectively. This attack looks highly promising. A goal! An exceptional... And that is going to be a free kick. He's got to have a go here. Oh my goodness, what... So a 6-1 victory means that we are in fact MLS Cup champions and that also means that this is going to be the last episode of the series so these transfers don't matter. We won the league, we won it convincingly, we won the cup. Mukoko is the top goal scorer, 
and Silva was just behind him as well, so we were dominant all year long. Alvarez Silva tied for the most assists with 9, Andrade tied with the most clean sheets, dominant all around, won the US Open Cup. We've now won a league title and won another domestic cup. So now let's, let's just look back at this team. Alex Andrade is a player who, a lot, along with a lot of these other players, was a player brought from the youth academy, loaned him out for two years, and then for some reason the game just glitched and made them all free agents. Freaked me out, I was able to sign them all back. But yeah, he's going to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Roth went from left back to center back this season and has been absolutely so important for us. Mukoko was exactly what I hoped he would be. Almeida was a very good offensive right back for us. Walther, although he is very good, he just doesn't do anything specifically all that great, so I was a little concerned about keeping him around, but it was worth it. Medjri made a perfect transition to that right wing position. Silva, although he was probably third or fourth choice when we first joined the club, and then after a loan spell, probably still second or third choice, really stepped it up for us. Flores and Long were two excellent signings, who just have been absolute studs for us. Armstrong coming up from the youth academy was amazing. Max out on loan, really wish he could have actually ended up using him more, but just didn't work out that way. Alvarez was a very good center midfielder for us. Shakiri did his job for us. Um, he was the number one option for quite some time, but just never really solidified himself this season. But last season, he was a star for us. So yeah, I mean, MLS winners, I think this might be the... I mean, we would have been the best team in the world. I mean, half these players have potential to be special, so... There was no doubt in my mind this was going to be the best team in the world, and, well, best team in the MLS, but, yeah. But now it is officially all over. I don't know what is going to be coming next from the channel. I don't know if I'm even going to do another MLS series. I mean, if it does well, then I'll maybe think of another one to do. But I have no rush to do anything because there's just so much to do. But I can assure you there will be a new series coming out shortly. Hopefully you guys enjoy that one as much as you did this one. And it is Search ATB for the last time as manager of the New York Cosmos, signing off.